Hey people, Intra Tier 3 v3 faction war this is, Sentinel Beach and Space Marines versus Imperial Guard. For the blue Space Marine team, Cyanide is a tech marine, starts off with a bolt gun, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair, got some blood ravens alongside. Dice rolls Apothecary support hero fighting in melee combat by default begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura, more blood ravens. Rounded off the team is Arise with a Force Commander, very strong offense fighting in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support. Red team is all Lord Generals, we have Touch Me here, rocking the Death Core of Krieg DLC. Alongside is Catla and the Armageddon Steel Legion, and we have the Tenso, who's shown up with the Catachins Elite Scheme. These guys are ranged heroes with retinues, retinues or stormtroopers, really strong defense and support they can also add to the retinue, one hand in these bolt guns with their bionic arms. Looks like the north is staying red. We have natural victory points in the southwest here for the red team and southeast for the blue team. Force commander is blob capping, kind of. I guess he's just waiting. Maybe he wants, maybe he's getting double tax up. Otherwise, they'd be pushing, I think. 477. I don't think these Space Marines are going to get this VP back on this fight. That's a lot of LAS guns. They need to get the tax into melee, like now. There's a heal. They've already used the heal. Tech Marine also getting quite low. Touch me with four Guardsman squads. That's so many LAS guns. Three for Kapla. The Tenso, the only player with a Sentinel up. Okay, they are closing into melee now. But the carry also needs to get in there. They need to tie up a different squad each. They got rid of one of those guardsmen. Good special attack from the Apothecary. carry. Heal thrown out. Vials would have been great there, but I guess he didn't have the power for it. Oh, scouts drop. Those were cyanide scouts. Just took his eyes off him for a few seconds, and down they go. Yep, the red team will retain the north, I think. I don't like this wreck point here. Why is it off center? There is a it's a contested wreck point. There isn't one on the other side. I don't know why it's uh, closer to the east, though. Look at these scouts stealing some power. They're going to feel the wrath of Lasguns and its assault squads now for Cyanide and Dice Roll, which is a good shout. Touch me and Catra don't have any Sentinels. They could get Catachins, I suppose, but they can run into uh, purification vials and stuff. Double tax for Arise. Dangerous with their bolt guns if they can both pop their Kraken bolts and fire on that sentinel. Lord General lost his retinue over here. There we go, there's Derek. Nigel will pop up next. Scout's coming in with a grenade, which could be nasty against blobbed up guardsmen. Force Commander's got no backup here, here we go. Yeah, those attacks are quite low, but they're... You've got, you've got to send them in with those bolt guns. Stomp on the Force Commander's face. Now they're trying to whittle down that sentinel. Once it gets stuck, there's the double repair. You should switch to shooting at guardsmen, I think. Force Commander still in play. Soaked up a hell of a lot of damage. Scouts taking their time to show up. They need to be careful. We've seen what las guns can do to scouts if they try to get close for a grenade or something. Not much action in the north right now. 392 to 500. They turn and shoot this contested power. Kicking off in north. There's the assault squads. And yeah, not a whole lot they can do about that. We have double artillery spotters for Catala, and it looks like they dropped one of their guardsmen. Three, oh, down goes the Sentinel. The scouts finished it, I think, with their bolt, with their bolt guns. And that guy had the ground pound. Artillery spotters also for the Tenso. Another assault squad for Cyanide. Who needs to replace your scouts when you have 400 hit points of heavy armor that can fall on fellas? They've got it, and they're power bashing with the flamer, but that's a lot of guards when coming to defend. Assault squad running interference. Sanguine chainsawed up for the apothecary, looks like. Helps him to brawl and stay in fights with the heal on hit. So it's got doing fine so far. And there's more assault marines. And Apothecary slicing through some guardsmen. Tech Marine now weighing in with that very dangerous bolt gun he's got. Artillery spotters. Oh, there's a smoke shell in there. 
reducing those fellas range you know what I don't think they're gonna defend just more marines showed up tech marine weighing into some melee are the attacks with the flamers still around I don't think they are they're in base basically look at this still being a massive pain in the ass what is this tech marine doing though health region or a helping stuff to stay in play assault squad just jumping into base that base turret can't shoot on them apparently oh there we go now taking a lot of damage but they didn't drop a model they also didn't finish their power bash so was that just an overextension i mean i'm sure they killed a bunch of guardsmen and they step they do still have things in play the assault squad tax brother carry maybe could have stayed in play but he ran in our tax have now retreated i don't think the assault squad can hold they might lose that vp again back to the south space marines are stealing this uh genned up contested power force commander has got his eyes on the vp tier two's all around aside from arise who did get assault squad as well got shotguns and sergeant no war gear for the force commander i think having his iron halo up would do a huge amount of work here but I guess they spent their power wisely elsewhere. Assault squad also do a huge amount of work. There's the jump. Those guys getting caught. I'll go straight for the artillery spotters. Takes out one of them. Two of them. One of them. Good pressure from Arise. I don't think Tenso can stand against this. But they got a quick Chimera on the way. Giving up some tier 1 presence to get that Chimera going in tier 2. Which should be good for them. Because Arise hasn't started Tier 2 yet. That's a contested power point. And they're getting on the power. I don't see any flamers. But, again, it's a lot of lasguts. We'll see what they can do. It's not the most rapid power bash we've ever seen. Here come some more guards. And they've got plasma guns rolling. And they're moving nice and fast thanks to the grenade launcher. Assault squad jump. Here comes Cyanide. Need to be going after these spotters, I think. Try and get some power bleed. Because they cost power to reinforce. Jumping away from that mortar shell. Assault squad here. Get their sergeant. Cyanide's second squad here. Can they get a good merciless? They lined up there for a good merciless, I think. Didn't take it. But now they're threatened by plasma guns. Look at this. Touch me could get quad plasma gun guardsmen going and that's that could be very nasty oh now they're buffed by sniper rifle guess he replaced the uh, grenade launcher with sniper rifle here for fire on my target for extra range i think i would have gone for melters because you've got three assault scores that could just jump on you you don't really need the range do you but the uh the fire rate fire rate increase would be great and melters do great damage to all targets meanwhile south here's a chimera support vehicle for the guard can jump inside of it drive around shoot stuff out of it to the little turrets on the top and reinforce of it too it's taking back that power now driving towards the vp there's also something grabbing their own natural back and it's catagens no it's not it's stormtroopers everything looks like catagen devils with this scheme Kicking off again in north. Assault squad just leveled, I think. Yes, they did. Librarian using quickening and getting in of an awesome special. Look at the knockback strength on that. That was a vicious knockback. Also has the psychic hood for gates of infinity. Smite thrown in as well. Had an amazing fight there, the librarian. Did a lot of work in a very small, short amount of time. Devastators rolling up for dice roll. And. I think this guy's dead. Nope. The Lord General gets away for Katla. Here come some Ogrins with their boned leader. Also for Katla, but they ran into the suppression. Whirlwind in play now for Cyanide. Never did bother replacing those scouts. Scouts. Whirlwind doing some work though. Look at that. Should be pretty good against all these guardsmen and the spotters and stuff. Can't really do much to retreating units. I guess little bits of damage will go in. Sergeant on those tacks. Sergeant on all of the assault squad fellas. 
going to be fierce fighting. I think the Space Marines have the upper hand up there, though. Ogrins will help, for sure. But they've also got the Devastators. They need to be on top of them with the Spotters, I think. Missile launch attacks. Couldn't get any shots onto the Sentinel. There are some... They are threatened by a grenade from the Stormtroopers. Devastators are pushed up. There's our artillery... Oh, a smoke shell. Reducing their range. Here come the Ogrins. Can they get in around... Oh, Devs have forced off. They can go and smash the assault squad now. There's user red. Disrupt and in four seconds they'll get another burst of disruption. But those assault squad fellas are out of there. But they did get a full bash here at some point. Also took this wreck point here. 350 to 315. Pretty even. On the VPs, it was a strong start for the guard with all those las guns, but the I think the Space Marines players have responded very well with the assault squads and librarian doing some really good work. Apothecary with combat stims, purification vials, and that sanguine chainsword. Chimera of the Tenso backs away. Dice roll now rotating south and supporting here. We do have Melted Lord General for the Tenso. A power fist force commander. Can they just run up to the Chimera and smack it? Maybe. Might also see a teleporter, of course. Assault squad with veil of time on them to speed them up, but they don't have. Oh, they are getting the thunder and lightning for a melter. Can they get close enough to throw it, though? Is it always the sergeant that throws it? There's a jump. And there's the throw. It's only 40 to throw it, I think. 40 energy and he got a big rear armor here look at that damage there's another melter on those assault marines 301 to 314 flame attacks need to pray to the emperor they make it out they do make it out ogrins ignored them down goes a the chimera though. they got it there's angels of death can they take models off these ogrins here Librarian weighing in with some power melee is going to help. Ogryn standing up incredibly well. They do drop a model though, and it was the boned leader. Now an execution of plasma, a uh, heavy turret. Uh, that could have been really nasty, but they took it down quite quickly. Space Marines on the rampage. Dice roll just rolling through anywhere it wants right now. Level 3 Apothecary, doing some great work. Stormtroopers chuck a grenade, I think. Yep, didn't hit anything, though. Purification Vials hit some stuff. Sort Squad jumping out for a rise, and then they retreat. Look at all this. Buffed up Plasma. Touch me. Did they have the Melter Guns and then went back to a Sniper Rifle again? I thought I saw Melters on them there. Not sure why they'd switch to Sniper when, again, when they're getting jumped on. I guess they got, they already got the Fight Harder buff up, so I guess they wanted to double buff, but just having the Melter Shooter stuff, I think, would have been more useful. Tech Marine is going to get revived, and that might level the Apothecary. It does, he's level 5, his heal gets more powerful as he levels up. And we have a Melter Gun Tech Marine. Uh-oh, Librarian. Forgotten. And goes down. That guy was doing great work for Dice Roll as well. He goes Tier 3 now. Cyanide got some Stern God up. Also went Tier 3. Some Power Bashing Scouts for Arise. All the way to the other side of the map. More Ogrins this time. Oh, more Ogrins, in fact, for all of the players. Well, the other players. They don't have Ogrins yet. Space Marines hitting those tier 3s is a good time though. So much pressure from the assault squads. They're really missing not having a Commissar or an Inquisitor. Assault squads are running riot. 248 to 289. Getting in on Catler's Ogrins who haven't leveled up yet. But the carry is level 6 meanwhile. Devastate is in there too. The Ogrins of the Tenso now helping out. They did disrupt the Devastators. And there's that 
use your red, but I think it knocks the air, knocks down friendlies as well. I guess they're not using the red that much. A little bit. There's a decent most of the strike, and then they fled. And Devastate is doing some work. Oh, this guy's getting around, look. Ogrins do have super heavy infantry armor, so they have natural resistance to piercing damage, such as from the heavy bolter. Creeping barrage from one of the Lord's Generals, not sure who, probably Kattler. 248, 258, very even on the VPs. Space Marines holding the north. Oh, hey, Terminator Force Commander's up here. Oh, Rise has come up here now. He's got an assault cannon. Missile tax, got Stern Guard. Vanguard veterans on the way too. I feel like they should have saved up for Terminators instead, but I guess we get ourselves some Vanguard veterans. Here we go. It's a lot of plasma. It needs to do some work here, this plasma. Vanguard veterans jumping in. All of the jumps. All of the jumps. Ogrins need to pick up a lot of slack here. More jumps. Vials thrown in too. Apothecary is level 7. They need to try and focus this Apothecary. I mean, I say it so much, but he can bring so much to a team game. All that health regen aura stuff really adds up. And he's got his combat stims, and he's got his grenades, and of course his heal. Now has anointed power axe to help fight his ogrins more effectively. Because it's power melee. He's doing a lot of work, that fella. He doesn't seem to be targeted very much. I mean, I know it's hard when you're being jumped on by three jump squads, sometimes four. 229 to 236. Another heavy turret comes in. Did that hit? I think that hit the apothecary. More ogrins for touch me. I mean, they can't get if they can't get tier threes rolling. I guess Ogren will do some work. Maybe uh, maybe the primary cycle will do some work for you with Ethereal Wave and the Telekinetic Dome on the Ogrins for those melee fights. Kind of a shame we don't see him. Maybe we will. 214 to 236. Big fight in the middle here. Can the Ogrin start to turn the tide? We see them turn it here. Silk squads be running. Good grenade on retreat as well. Can they get to the north and take it back? I mean, I mean they have that contested power in the south. They've got good power coming in, and we see the tier 3 for Tenso. Touch me with double Ogrins up now. Maybe the Tenso could turn those fellas here into Bulgrins and get that AOE suppression going. We have Terminators for Cyanide, a Land Raider Redeemer on the way for Dice Roll. With four Ogrins up. Maybe they can smash that land raid into pieces, but they need to get to it first. Plasma have a good angle on these uh, assault squad fellas here. Ogrins couldn't hold though. They're bashing power. They're decapping power too. There's a heal from the apothecary. Got the decap. Oh, but then those guards were wiped and they had plasma as well. 214 to 200. Stern Guard using their Kraken Bolts against the Ogrins. They should be using Vengeance Rounds against them. Because Ogrins are super heavy. Spotters say no, you can't cap that power back. Satcone Missile Launcher up on the Terminators. Where's that Terminator Force Commander? Here he is. Oh, he stole the South Power. But that's going to help power the Space Marines Tier 3. Now he's rolling through the South. Towards this VP, something rolling towards the power too. It is dice roll. 206 to 198. VP staying very, very even though. Imperial Guard fighting with all of their grit here. Here come double Ogrins. Scaring off the assault squad. Nice grenade on the stone guard. Did they wipe him? No. Well, Cyanide Stern Guard wiped, but I was looking at Arise's Stern Guard, who were here running away. Cyanide's wiping in the north somewhere. What happened, fellas? 
I don't know. I don't know how. Oh, there we can see one there with the standard on. Meanwhile, Land Raider. There's that frag assault. Welcome to the fight, Ogrins. Now they pile in. They will smash anything to pieces, Ogrins, with their heavy melee damage. We do have plasma attacks, level 4 plasma attacks. They'll be doing huge damage to those Ogrins with a plasma gun. Lord General helping out with the flak jacket incoming. That was nicely done. Just ran forward to get it onto the Ogrins there. And look how much damage they did to that Land Raider. That was pretty freaking spectacular there. Melter Gun Lord General is helping out a bit, I'm sure. 186 to 198. Now we have a Lehman Russ. The Tensor with the Lehman Russ has spotted a Land Raider. So most likely we're going to see Vanquisher, I would think. Although, there's a lot of stuff to shoot at with Executioner. A lot of stuff. Lord General here for the Tenso with the Sergeant. Don't see any other retinue stuff going on. Which is always sad. Got Terminators also for dice roll. More Cyclone Missile Launcher. Can they sit on this VP now with a Land Raider? Bunch of Terminators, bunch more heavy infantry. And just sustain. That was a Kashakin grenade there. Didn't seem to do much damage, but I mean, it's the thought that counts. They thought about that grenade pretty hard before they threw it. They have indeed gone for execution of the Tenso. Awesome tool to use against heavy infantry, such as these Vanguard veterans as they chase it down with Power Fist. As long as, as, long as you can keep up on your tank micro, they should be able to steer clear for that, of that Power Fist. Here come. That Stern Guard veterans though with vengeance rounds, anti-vehicle. Power Fist Force Commander going after it. Crack. Not getting any rear armor hits though. Needs to be careful, this Lehman Rust needs to keep moving. Oh hey, we got some Bulgrins for Katla. Limited to one is an upgrade for the Ogrins, gives them more melee damage and shields for more health. Also allows them to use your shield. They're like electro shields or something. I'm not sure exactly what they're called in the law. Slab shields, I think. I guess that's just like an upgrade for them. Electro slab shield things. And it suppresses everything around them. Gives the Ogrins some more health regen and damage resistance and stuff. Or the Bulgrins, I should say. Any more Bulgrins? No. Maybe we'll see it from the Tenso as well, though. They are tier 3. Catler now has the Commissar retinue. Bulgrin's chasing through. Need to be careful, fellas. 1, 2, 3 to 1, 6, 1. VPs have been even like the entire game. There's scarcely been 50 points between the teams. Been pretty cool. Level 4 Tech Marine runs away. I think he was bashing power over here. Oh, have they isolated the apothecary a bit? There's that Kasakin Plasma. Here come Bulgrin's. Get merciless struck. That was an awesome merciless strike there. And jumping in are more assault marines. Can frustrate Ogrins with disruption. As you can with most melee squads, of course. Yeah, they got messed up there. Controlled quite well. The guard have the VP. Scout trying to decap it. They couldn't quite get the decap. There's an orbital though. Looks like they have dodged the orbital. 116 to 145. What is this? Is that scouts? Nope. It's tax and some Vanguard veterans. Execution is still down here. Must be very tempting for them to take it to the north, but they need to watch their own VP. This thing can pack a huge punch. There's tier 3 for touch me. Librarian up now for dice roll. They had a great librarian before. Vanguard veterans persuaded to leave. The Tenso with the Melter Guns on the Lord General and Plasma Guardsman. Terminator Force Commander with Power Fists on the Lehman Russ. It is being repaired though. Kicking off in the north. There's Angels of Death from Dice Roll. Aggressive jump from the Assault Squad. Bulugrins are there. Reinforced by the Vox Operator. That could be amazing going forward with those reinforces coming in from all three of the Lord's Generals, potentially, if they all get one. 
Level 10 apothecary here. Gotta shoot that guy. And the Space Marines take the north. Can they crack through that? They might need to double or even triple the south here. They'd concede their power if they did. Not that there's much left over there. Meanwhile, in the south, it's been a pretty even fight, but the Tenso has got through onto the VP. They might eat a grenade, those guys, if they're not careful. There's a Stormtroopers level 3 with a sort kit. Here comes a grenade. Oh, they took a grenade back as well. Need to run now, I think, fellas, dear. Well, they've got some support, maybe not. Opening up with those hot, hot shot las guns. There's a jump. They might die now. Vanguard veterans got on them. Now they try to live. They might make it out. I think they've made it out, unless there's something in the in the retreat path, which there might be. 104 to 131. What is this though in the mid? Purification vials, I see. I see a venerable dreadnought called in by cyanide awesome look how much resources they are floating by the way huge huge amounts venerables leveled up already he must have done some work already holy crap what did he do so killed a bunch of ogrins or something got tensos on this and they have a full retinue now no they don't have the commissar in there 104 to 131 couldn't quite get the cap. But there's something capping here. We've got stormtroopers. Peck Marines trying to shoot them. Here comes a venerable dreadnought, which is bad news. Four said storm stormtroopers need to run. Got a decap though. Well done, fellas. 94 to 131. VP lead for the guard, but for how long? Terminate is on this now. Cyanide still floating. Huge amounts. Down goes the Lehman Russ. Yeah, I'm not sure why they're floating so much resources. I guess they just want more Terminators, maybe? I want to spend all their pop on that, waiting for it to come off cooldown. It's got a five-minute cooldown, I think, Terminators. Double Ogrins running in, sprinting in on those Terminators. They're going to try and cap and then teleport out. Oh, that's dicey. That's very dicey. Are they going to teleport out? They are not. Dice roll loses the Terminators. They're too busy looking here, I guess. Where was the Librarian? Oh, a Librarian could have Gate of infinity them out. But they go down. Mistake from Dice Roll. They played so well, though. Triple cap now for the Space Marines. 87-86. That Venerable Dreadnought is such a good pull for Cyanide. Really shutting down those Ogrins. They couldn't get their tier 3 rolling, really, the uh, the guard. Such awesome pressure from the Space Marines from tier 2 onwards. 87 to 55. They played it so well, though, the guard to hang in. Rocket run. There's a force barrier. Venerable Dreadnought still having a great time. What is this? Sneaky Stormtroopers. Tech Marine can't see them. Now he can't. Can he kill him fast enough? There's level 6. That shot missed. Think that one hit? Space Marines are taking their natural though. I think the Space Marines have this. They really came out swinging in tier 2. Those Assault Marines were awesome. They tried to counter them with the Ogrins. But then the tier 3 came and Terminators came and Land Raider came and Venerable Dreadnought came. This guy's almost level 4. And he couldn't get rolling with their tanks as much as they would have liked, I'm sure. Didn't get to see any of the big super heavy tanks. Not that this is a great map for them. The north, the north is kind of congested there. I think they still could have done some work though. 87 to 14, Orbital on base. Poor Bulgrin's getting pulled up. There's the GG. It was a great game. The VPs were even throughout the entire thing. Despite the pressure that God did it awesomely well. Some great plays both sides. But it is going to be a Space Marine victory here. Awesome stuff. We had a level 6 Tech Marine for Cyanide. Had the Melter Gun, nothing else. Level 10 Apothecary was absolutely awesome in this game. Uh, dice roll, sorry. 
And they did make some mistakes when I mean, they lost those terminators, they did lose the librarian, but the apothecary was so strong they didn't focus this guy down enough. We had a Terminator Force Commander, who is above mere levels. The Lord General is level 4. Level 4. And level 5 for the 10. So there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Big thanks to these players for taking part in a faction war. And of course, the Tenso for getting me this replay. And I'll see you guys next time.